Hey everybody, uh, Mr. Burns here, bringing you another math video. This one's a little bit different. This is not really a tutorial video. This is a, this is one for I guess fellow math teachers or anybody looking to have a few math games. So I thought I might make a couple of ones that I use in my classroom on a regular basis for fun and for um, you know actually for learning outcomes. So one of the ones I use on a regular basis is called Skunk. And where you might use Skunk if you're doing like a probability unit or something like that. I use it sometimes if you know you're at the end of a class, you got maybe five, ten minutes left. Finish your lesson, the kids have been awesome. Give them a chance to uh, get up and move about. And sometimes you might use it at the beginning if it's like a Friday, the kids are pretty bland, they're waiting for the weekend to come around, or Monday morning, they're tired. Get them up for the first five or ten minutes and then, um, you know, get them engaged a little bit more. So basically, how Skunk works. It's a, it's a game of sort of playing the odds a little bit. So what I usually do is I write the letters skunk on the board and I make a little column. And the only thing you need to play this game is the kids needs the kid kids need sorry some uh, scrap paper and you need two die. So you either need um, you know two actual die or you can use the or dice sorry. Uh, you can actually use the ones on uh, the smart board if you have smart notebook that you're using in your classroom there are two they are electronic die which you can actually touch and they move so like real die uh, real dice but um, I don't like them as much because I'm not sure how random they are so I prefer to use actual um, actual die but it's up to you so basically the rules of the game are this you start with S and you roll the two die so you keep going as long as a one isn't rolled so everybody in the class is standing up and you say you roll your die and let's just say for instance uh, two sixes come up so you'd write twelve so everybody that's standing now has a score of twelve so at that point you know the students have to make the decision so I, should I sit or should I stay for the next roll? So if a student sits, they can't stand up until you move to the next letter. The only way you can move to the next letter if a one is rolled. So say on the next roll, everybody's still standing, and you roll um, you know, a one and uh, a two. So if that happens, then everybody who's standing loses all their points and then we move on to the next one so we'd stop this one and move to this one well let's say now you're here and you you've already rolled um, I don't know a nine a three and a six together and then you've rolled a ten uh, six and a four whatever and then you roll this so snake eyes if you roll two ones then anybody who's standing at the time loses all their points so if they're standing then uh, they lose every single one of their points and they would go back to zero. So students have to make sort of like an intelligent guess as, uh, you know, what are my odds of winning here if I stay in this game? So if you get a really good score like 12, you might want to sit because there's a chance if you stand, you'll lose those points. But uh, it's a really fun game and uh, hopefully I explained it well. It's really simple. Like I said, you can do it in two seconds. All you need is two die, or you can use a smart board. And that's what I love about it. There's no big setup. There's no big plan. All the kids need is a piece of scrap paper to record their points on. You need to write write the uh, rolls on the board. Um, so hopefully, guys, this is a good video. This is a great game, and hopefully this helps you in your classes. Or, you know, if you're hanging out on a Friday night and you need a math game to play, this is a good one. All right. <laughs> Take it easy, guys, and I'll see you guys in class, hopefully.